So we're here under set background and you'll notice that the last option in set background, that the last option is image. So what does that let you do? That allows you to add a custom background to your gem. So you're not limited to just the background options of graph paper or blue or chalkboard. We go to image and you'll notice you have all of these choices for how you can add your own custom background. So you can upload one, you can use the camera. I'm gonna allow the camera and and so you're going to see it's allowing me to put my selfie right into the Google Jam, right as the background. So here we go. And this is now locked down. So you see I'm now able to take my red marker and I can draw on there and of course add stickies. But when I move this around, I can't move my selfie. It is locked to the background. On this next frame, I'm going to do set background. And again, I'm going to go to the custom image option. And I'm going to do a Google image search. And I'm going to search for free texture. It's one of my favorites. Find something that has set as a frame background. And you see it adds some nice texture to my frame. Now the problem with that is you'll notice it actually does not stretch out the image. So when you upload an image or add as a background, you might have some white bars and things on the sides. So what you're able to do under the set background, go to image, you can actually choose upload. So I'm gonna instead, I'm gonna go to Google Slides, I'm gonna do slides.new. Now I like Google Slides because it's already set to be the right proportions to put into a Google Jam or Jam. So I'm going to go here to the layouts, I'm gonna choose a blank layout, add a slide there. And on here, I'm going to go to background. I'm in Google Slides. I'm going to choose background. I choose an image. I'm choosing an image and background. And then I'm going to do the same thing I just did where I do the Google image search. And I'm still going to look up free texture. But I'm going to choose, can I get the same one? Here we go. And you'll notice the difference here is that unlike Jamboard in Google Slides, it stretches out the image to fit the whole canvas. So I get the whole thing with no white edges and you gotta go up to the file menu and choose download and you wanna download it as a JPEG. So I'm under the file menu, download, download as JPEG. And it's gonna put it right here into the downloads bar at the bottom of my Google Chrome and coming back to the jam I'm going to drag it right from the downloads bar into the select a file. I'm going to upload and you can now see the entire background which is again locked down onto the canvas so I can draw on it without it moving around. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my Google Slides. I am going to add a new layout. I'm gonna make it blank. And this is where I can just customize it however I want. So I oftentimes like to use a rectangle and I'm holding down the Shift key to create a spot. I am going to thicken up the border that's a little bit too thick. And I really like to use format options. And you usually will find that under the three dots. You can get to the format options. And in the sidebar, I add a drop shadow. And I'm gonna use the paint can and go to gradient. And I duplicate that. So I intend always when I use Google Jamboard that I have at least two students on the jam. So I make a little spot there for them to add a sticky note for their name. I do file, I download, I download it as a JPEG, and again, go back to the jam, and on the frame, I choose set background and image, and now I have a custom image with it locked down.